What's up everyone, Paolo here. So I'm back for another how-to tutorial. On this video, I'm going to teach you how to install PHP 7.1 on your Mac OS using Homebrew. Um, let's get started. So let me show you my current setup. So on my current setup, uh, I have PHP version 5.6.30 running on my machine. So what I need to do is I need to install PHP 7.1. There's two ways to do it. To do that, you could use either Homebrew or you could use uh, Curl. On this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to use uh, Homebrew. So to get started, you need to have Homebrew installed on your machine. So Homebrew is a package manager. So if you visit their website brew.sh, uh, from there you could quickly grab the command to install homebrew it's built on ruby right on your mac system you should already have ruby installed so if you try something like ruby.v you would see you have ruby 1.9.3p429 etc as the version so i quickly copied the homebrew install script so just paste that and hit enter it might ask for your administrator password on your computer and just do that so this may take a while so I'm just gonna let it run and then jump back again once it's finished alright that didn't take that long so uh, homebrew should now be installed so you could type in brew dash v to check the version of homebrew on your computer so I have homebrew 1.3 point two so let me clear this out and let's try installing uh, PHP 7.1 so first thing is you need to get the you need to tap into uh, PHP so to do that you say brew tap put homebrew then put PHP so what's this going to do is it's gonna grab all the PHP related um, software and when you do a brew install PHP 7.1 it should be available so for this tutorial I need PHP 7.1 to run with my Apache installation so I'm going to add additional options on my install, so I'm going to say with HTTPD24, so that's Apache 2.4 version, so I'm going to hit that, and this may, again, may take a while, so I'm just going to let it run and come back to the tutorial after. Okay, so the installation is finished, uh, let's check quickly what the installation did so if I scroll up a little bit um, you could see that with the uh, HTTP D24 uh, option this installed the homebrew version of Apache which could cause conflict with your existing Apache install so I'm gonna teach you how to disable that and then it installed PHP and gave you some tips on what to do. So it says to enable PHP in Apache, add the following to the HPT configuration file and restart Apache. So I'm just gonna copy both this. Copy that. And scroll down a little bit. And you could disregard most of this. So I'm gonna put that in my editor which I already have so let me just copy and paste make sure I have everything there cool so let's clear this out and let me quickly check what version of PHP I have so I click PHP V you would see that it's still running 5.6.30 uh, so if I say export path is equals to user dot local slash 
has been and the path again and I go to PHP version it's now showing it's PHP 7.1.8 let's check what's going on on the browser so if I go back to my PHP info and I refresh this let me do that again because it went out pretty quickly refresh as you can see the PHP version is still pointing to my old install so what I want to do next is I want to unlink the Apache version that homebrew installed because I don't want to use that so I'm gonna say brew unlink HTTP D 24 So this is gonna link that so now let's configure the HTTP D configuration file of Apache so let me jump to that directory CD etc apache2 let me do a list so before editing the configuration file best practice is to make a backup so back command for that is sudo cp hpd conf and the name of the backup back2 There you go so when I do another ls you'll see that I have a backup there so I'm gonna use nano to edit the file so sudo nano hpd conf I'm gonna quickly search for the php5 that I have there so on this line I'm gonna comment this out and I'm gonna replace I'm not gonna replace I'm gonna add a new line which would call the PHP 7 module. So I paste that. And let me quickly go scroll down a little bit to the file match section and add a new parameter. So from here, I'm going to add this configuration setting and then paste. and exit and save your changes so next is restart apache and that should ctl restart so once you started let me go back to my index file and refresh now it's showing i have php version 7.1.8 so there you have it so that's how you install php7 using homebrew on my next tutorial i'm going to teach you how to use curl to install or update to php 7.1 so if you like this video hit the comments below and hit the like button and please subscribe to my youtube channel